What's up, dudes? It's your boy, Daily Productions, live from Daily Tactics' basement. Skirt! Uh, today, it's all about the Renaissance, or the Renaissance, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, huge new update for Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I have not played it yet. I'm sure you guys have checked it out. It's It's been out for a couple days now, I believe. Uh, and today, it's going to be all about it. We're doing all sorts of tests with these units, gonna be playing around, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I start. I thought we'd start off with just a massive musket battle. So 75 red musketeers versus uh, 75 blue musketeers. Let's just, let's just jump into it. All right, here we go. Why is that guy small? Why was he so short? That's so weird. Either way, yeah, like half of both armies are already dead they're just dead they're gone it's over oh my god why are some of these dudes smaller than the other dudes what the heck dude that's weird maybe they wanted to get like some size differentiation in there or something like that either way it seems like they are in their reloading stance now there's no real animation for that they just kind of go at the ready again and cow massive shots Firing out from both sides. It looks like the blues are going to win this unless the reds just like absolutely clutch their butts here. Uh-oh. There goes another red. There goes the other two. A, uh, a pretty decent victory for the blues right there. I'll be right back with another battle setup. Alright, boys. Next battle, we have a line of muskets followed by a line of halberds followed by a line of jousters. So basically... Range units followed by melee units followed by a cav charge. It should be pretty epic. Let's see it in action, boys. Oh my god. Woo! The first shots get fired out. Seems like the muskets all took the bulk of those shots. And um, actually, the cav came in before the halberds came in. They were just that much faster. And now it's just this epic clash straight down the middle. Both sides whacking each other with sticks. Oh, the Renaissance. Such a cultured time. It's so beautiful. I love how there's just a mountain of dead horses. <laughs> oh my god. Poor horses. Always getting uh, getting the shaft in battles. It's, it's tough, man. It's tough. This dude's like going in. Oh, this dude's also just kind of doing a little roundabout here. New. <laughs> I love it. That's epic. I still don't know really who's going to win this. There's still musketeers alive? How is that even possible? Ooh, smackdown. Let's see, there's un, uh, unhorsed calf. They've been dismounted. Oh, that calf uh, trooper just won that battle, but then he got shot by a musketeer. One musketeer left. Let's see if he can kill this halberd trooper. I don't think he did. Oh, there's two more back here. Ooh, you dead. And uh, this guy got shot in the side real tough hate to see it all right let's spice it up a little bit let's spice it up um i say we get rid of the cav get rid of some of the halberds too do 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 do, do. we need to make it even so this be like 46 on both sides very nice then we'll get uh two of these da vinci tanks which look pretty baller um what on earth do painters do let's get a line of painters <laughs> are they just a nothing unit do they do nothing oh, we need one more painter there we go. Bingo, 75 v 75. Let's see what the painters do. I'm very confused. Oh, they paint each other. I mean, that should have been obvious. Oh, and then they get just firing squatted. Oh, and then here comes the uh, cannonballs. In fact, I think the Da Vinci tanks are hurting the allied sides more than they're hurting the enemy sides. That's not great. That's not great at all. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is insane. <laughs> Did you guys ever see that Futurama episode where uh, they discover Da Vinci is like an alien from another planet? I love that episode so much. So is that Da Vinci inside the tank there, or is that just some random dude? Uh, it kind of looks like Da Vinci. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Alright, either way, I think the blues have this one. Yeah, one Da Vinci tank has stopped spinning, and the second one does too. The Blues take home another dub. All right, I'll be back with another setup. All right, guys, this time we're doing the two most recent eras of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We're doing Dynasty versus Renaissance. So 
Uh, we have samurai versus painters and fencers in the front line. Then we have uh, firework archers versus uh, balloon archers who I've never seen in action yet. So I'm, I'm pretty curious to see what they do. Then we have musketeers versus uh, uh, monks. Then we have ninjas versus halberds. Then we have jousters versus um, monkey king slash uh, dragons. Then we have tank versus huachi. You guys know my favorite... Uh, Unit is, of course, the Dynasty one, but uh, I don't know, man. Renaissance is kind of growing on me. Let's see uh, how uh, how these two duke it out. Honestly, ah, whoa, 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 no! Wait, we're restarting. I missed that entire thing because I messed up the camera. All right, we're starting again. Yeah, I um, I don't know. The uh, the Dynasty was my absolute favorite for a very, very long time there, um, but I don't know. Renaissance is kind of kind of gaining on it. I think uh, they're, they might be tied for first now. Maybe Dynasty's a little bit in the lead. Maybe I need to play a little bit more with Renaissance, but uh, both are very, very fun. Honestly, the DLC units for this game have just been absolutely mind-blowing. They've been so, so, so good. Either way, it is pure chaos. I honestly don't even know what's happening here. It is that intense of a battle. I love these balloon archers. They're kind of fun. They're just dragging people into the, the stratosphere. Poor dude. Oh, and then it drops them. Does it drop them while they're still alive or do they die? Oh my god, he's still alive. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I'm sorry, man. You're definitely dead now. <laughs> that's kind of a sick unit. I love that. I think the dynasty might have the win here. Yeah, they probably do. Da Vinci's tank, you could still get a volley off. It did, but it, it fired in kind of the wrong direction. Oh, da Vinci's tank is still going. It is a tank, after all. Who's still left? Oh! This cab unit got stuck in the doorway. Oh, I bet there's like a secret unit up here or something. I still haven't found the secret units. And I know that's going to upset so many people, but I just haven't taken the time to do it. Alright, this might be the derpiest knight I have ever seen. He's about to be burned alive in that building. Yep! Bye bye Alright, I wanted to see who would win. 100 Balloon Archers or 100 Musketeers. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. Alright, so the first valley goes off at the uh, the same time there. And bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, some of them are dead, but some are still alive when they float into the, into the air. That's so sad. Can they shoot from in the air? That'd be kind of sick, actually. And then it looks like... The archers are still firing at the dudes still alive in the air. That's definitely a flaw right there. There's no point in shooting at those guys. That's that's definitely a game mechanic flaw, if I've ever seen one. And they they do have faster draw speed than the uh, the musketeers, so that's definitely a a bonus to being an archer. Is they've got faster reload time, because the musketeers haven't even launched their second valley. They're just now getting around to that. But the second volley is so much more devastating than the balloon archers, so it doesn't really matter in the end. Alright guys, we're going to check out and see how 70 musketeers do against 12 charging cav units. Let's go ahead and press start here. Oh, well, this could be epic. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Woo! There's the... Oh. It's like no contest. Holy cow. One cav unit made it out of there. Wowza. And uh, he's uh, he's big derpin in the water now. Oh no, he's getting towed by the current. Okay, bye. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, we gotta try that again. Oh my god. Okay. Um, try more cab units, I guess. These dudes are seriously some powerful units here. It's kind of insane. Ooh, baby. Wow. It just tears them up, bro. Holy cow. This time, uh, more ended up surviving. Will it be enough, though? They're crashing in. Probably starting to rack up a few kills. Whew! There's still a whole lot of musketeers left alive, though, and if they can get a second volley off and be pretty accurate with their shots, this might end well for the Reds. No, I don't think so. There we go, that time it was a blue cap charge win. Let's try again, let's try again. Let's give them some more musketeers this time. 
I want to stretch the limits of this bad Larry. Okay, there we go. Wait, I want to try and get a nice screenshot of this, because this could look cool. Like the calf charging in. No, I can't get a screenshot before they fire their first volley. So sad. Either way, the devastating first volley hits the calf. Pretty hard. There's only about 10 units or so left, but then they can just crash in and do some serious damage. I don't know. They're not as effective now. Ooh, there's the second volley. Oh! And these two uh, horse units are getting dragged over the cliff. Yeet! All right. Wow. Well, this has been very fun. I really enjoyed the Renaissance update. Way to go, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this in the future. I'd be happy to oblige. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.